Assalamu alaikum and good evening everyone. It's a real privilege to be able to record this message in support of the British Beacon Mosque Awards. And I want to start by thanking Faith Associates for hosting this fantastic event which is showcasing the profoundly positive role mosques play in communities up and down our country. As the Mayor of London, I've always believed in building bridges, not walls. And your actions serve as an example and an inspiration to us all and demonstrate that our diversity isn't a weakness, but our greatest strength. As a Muslim, Alhamdulillah, as a Londoner and as a proud Brit, I know our mosques make a vital contribution to the common good. So I'm honoured tonight to have the chance to present the award for Best Mosque 2020. Unsurprisingly, there's intense competition for this award. But after careful consideration, the judges, uh, not me I should add, were able to shortlist five contenders. They are the Al Medina Mosque, Green Lane Mosque, Minaj al Quran, Ashford and Staines Centre, and MSKI Leicester. It goes without saying that each of the mosques shortlisted this evening deserves to be congratulated and commended on their work. But of course, there can be only one winner. And so, without further ado, I'm delighted to announce that the winner of the Best Mosque Award 2020 is the Al Medina Mosque. Congratulations. Alhamdulillah, um, all praises to Allah. It's only because of the course of Allah that we're able to be in this position. Um, I'm absolutely um, humbled by this award. Uh, I think um, a massive thank you to the trustees, the volunteers and the communities of Barking and Dagenham. Um, and it's even more humbling when you consider we've just sat through nearly two and a half hours of amazing work uh, done by Muslim communities up and down the country. And, and I'd just like to say, I think mosques and Muslim centers up and down the country have always, have always worked tires, tirelessly to serve their communities, but have always done it very quietly, um, which is why it's so sad to always see us portrayed in a negative light in the media when a minority do something wrong. But, you know, I think the pandemic in a perverse way has allowed the true value and the worth of the Muslim communities and their work to be seen firsthand. And I think it has projected Muslim communities to the forefront in a really positive light. And I think the challenge for us now is to continue to build on that positivity and go from strength to strength. 
I'm absolutely humbled by the pockets of excellence, excellent work which is being taken place up and down the country. And there are no losers today. Um, I think everybody's a winner. I congratulate all the other massages in this category. I think you're all deserving of it. I accept this award on behalf of all of you because I think you all deserve it. For our work, I just like to say this. I think we're a masjid which is very holistic. We work uh, across the board. We don't specialize in one discipline. We actually um, use every opportunity to strive to do the best in every discipline. And one example is this, last year, Alhamdulillah, at these same awards, we won the best women's service uh, for our high bespoke women's center. And since that time, since last year, in the last 12 months, we've generated 26 separate income streams for women in our community. These are women who are providing a service and then we've generated methods for them to earn income from it. And you know, in one year, 26 income streams, it's in itself an amazing achievement. We, you know, throughout the evening, people have talked about the importance of youth and sports. We provide a real sophisticated sporting program where we provide 12 separate sporting disciplines. Um, and we're leading on a number of national projects um, where we use sport to bring our youngsters in and to mentor them um, and to work with them. And, you know, um, one, one of my mottos is always never sit still, always challenge yourself um, and challenge yourself aggressively. Um, and, you know, we have just about recently taken on a project where we've spent nearly £35,000 in putting together a, a sensory room. Um, and we're putting together a special needs project, which we're going to deliver to the wider community. And, you know, this is an arena which is difficult. It's not an easy arena. It's a highly sophisticated, demanding um, and professional arena where you can't cut corners. You know, and one of the reasons we've done it is because we want to challenge ourselves to be even better. You know, so um, uh, Alhamdulillah, all I can say is thank you. I want to thank uh, Brother Mahmoud, I think I need to thank Shokat and the entire team at Faith Associates, uh, because I, I echo what one of the brothers said earlier on, unless we have luminaries like Brother Shokat, unless we have people who are willing to put their head above the parapet and take some of the flack that comes with doing this type of work, we don't move forward. You know, and I think um, if the mayor is still listening, I think you've got a bit of a gem in Shokat. Uh, grab hold of him and keep him there, don't let go of him. But the other thing I will say to the Mayor of London is this. Remember the name al Medina, okay? And remember the name Ashraq Sadiq, because we're the best run mosque, and I'm going to come knocking on your door, because we, were, we want to become even better. Even better.